I'm Tony Negri. I'm the commercial product manager with Philips 66 Lubricants. We're here in the shop today to tear down this 2016 Volvo D13 engine. It has 762,000 miles on it. It's been driven uh, coast to coast service for a large overnight package delivery service uh, with a tandem driver team pulling off in tandem trailers. They've accumulated this mileage very, very quickly. I've uh, been running 30,000 mile drain intervals, which is pretty typical for Volvos of this generation. Now this Volvo represents a really interesting case in that Volvo has objected to the use of FA4 in their engines. Uh, we have felt very confident in the ability of our product and as such, we offer a class exclusive warranty for the use of Gardol FE 10W30 in Volvo engines 2014 and newer. So we're really excited to show you the results as we tear down this engine and show the actual performance of Gardol FE in an engine of this generation. All right, so Sean, the techs have torn the engine completely down. We got all the parts available to us. We had a couple early glimpses as they were going through the process. Some things that got us uh, really excited about what we were gonna see. So now we got all the parts. Let's talk about some more detail. What, what did we see? Yeah, let's take a closer look at some of these major components when low viscosity fluids may be a concern. Specifically the valve train area, you can see the camshaft, Tony, is showing nowhere whatsoever. All the lobes look perfect. When you go to some of these finer parts where there could be some wear patterns, you can see that there's very minimal wear there, which shows you the lubricant is doing its job, the additive is doing its work, and the viscosity is doing just what it's supposed to do. The engine bearing had very acceptable wear and they're good to go. Moving on to the piston area, in your earlier shots, the pistons weren't out. You can see though that there is minimal skirt contact on the liner. So in this, high, this viscosity area, this protect, particular piston is being protected in, in place. The deposits are also minimal behind the rings. So if there was any concern about oxidation or sludge buildup or anything else, you'd see it on the undercrown and in the ring land. See a little bit of light carbon there. A little bit, there's no concern there. That, that many miles, that's perfectly normal. You talked a little bit earlier about the liners we saw that weren't all the way disassembled yet. You can see here the cross hatch looks perfect. There's very minimal wear in the ring turnaround zone. This liner looks great for as many miles that were on that engine. One more area that might be a concern when talking about low viscosity fluids in a diesel engine is the piston wrist pin and of course the wrist pin bushing. The pin you can see is in perfect condition. The wrist pin bushing itself shows minimal wear, doing its job, the viscosity was there, this engine was protected. All right, so Sean, Volvo's got a particular interest and they sponsor the uh, T13 oxidation test as part of the CK4 and FA4 qualifying uh, battery of tests. So with respect to oxidation performance, uh, we might expect to see sludge in some areas, maybe see it collect in the oil pan, maybe top of the valve train. What did we see when we looked We saw it? absolutely no sludge whatsoever, Tony. The pan itself was perfectly clean. Even in the corners, there weren't any sludge. Another area of concern you might be is in the valve cover. They were perfectly clean, no sludge, no oxidation. The oil was doing its job. This engine ran its entire life on Gardol FE 10W30 after the initial factory fill uh, oil drain, that first drain which happened at 33,000 miles. So the remainder of that total accumulation of miles happened using Gardol FE 10W30. Uh, the FA4. So for more information, of course, go to our website, philip66lubricants.com or call our technical hotline at 877-445-9198.